Falcon organizes the various components that make up a sound into a hierarchy of several levels. I'll describe them from the bottom up. A Falcon instrument starts with a sound source, which is labeled oscillator. While the traditional use of that term refers to a generator of static waveforms, here the term oscillator is more inclusive. Since Falcon is a hybrid synth and sampler, an oscillator can refer to a traditional simple analog waveform, like the sawtooth or square wave, but it also refers to a full collection of audio samples, what most other samplers would refer to as a key map, or any of a number of included sound generators that make use of different methods of synthesis, like FM, Wavetable, and others. I'll look at these in more detail in later videos. The next level up in the hierarchy is a key group. This is made up of one or more of Falcon's oscillators and can include modulators and effects. In Falcon 2, key groups can be saved as user templates, including all oscillators, effects, and modulators. The next level up from that in the Falcon hierarchy is a layer. A layer can include one or more key groups and can include modulators, effects, and events, like arpeggiators. Above the layer level is a program. A program can contain one or more layers, each with its potentially multiple key groups, and again can include modulators, effects, and events. A program can be saved as a file on disk. This would be equivalent to a program or patch in most instruments. Above the program level is a part. A part consists of one program, as I just described. At the top of the hierarchy is the multi. A multi consists of one or more parts and can also be saved as a file on disk. The term multi is a standard way of describing a file that includes multiple programs. It's short for a multi timbral and a multi file here is equivalent to multi files in other multi timbral instruments. So why so many layers of organization? Well, the idea is to provide as much flexibility as possible in terms of what kind of processing is applied to different elements of a complex sound or program. As you can see from the diagram in the manual, you can apply modulators, effects, and events at every level of organization, depending on what different sound components are included at different levels, whether you want particular processes to be applied to multiple events or only to specific ones, and when you may need to have different settings for the same processors for different elements of a complex multi-instrument. As a very simple example, let's say you had a sound that consisted of two key groups, a piano and layered strings. If you added some modulation and effects at the layer level, they'd be applied to both sounds. But what if you wanted to add an effect to just the strings? In that case, it would be better to apply the effect at the key group level, where it could be applied independently to the strings. Or let's say you had a drum kit that consisted of multiple kit pieces. You might need to have different velocity or envelope settings for different drums and cymbals, and you might want them to show up as separate channels in the mixer. Instead of simply mapping them all on the same layer, you could create several separate parts in a multi and assign the different kit pieces as individual key groups in each part. Now, not only could the different kit pieces have separate modulation and effect settings, but you could more easily mix them and apply send and return effects from the mixer panel. When you first start working with Falcon, it may not be immediately clear how to best utilize the different hierarchical levels, but after working with it for a while, you should get a better sense of how to organize things for different sounds and applications. Unfortunately, the way Falcon is laid out visually can contribute to some initial confusion, with some controls duplicated in more than one place in the edit pane, and a lot of back and forth clicking to move between different display panes for the different organizational levels. But that's pretty much par for the course with instruments that have this level of complexity, and it's the price we pay for the degree of flexibility that Falcon offers. Next up, we'll take a look at the visual organization of Falcon's plugin window.